hung away, away, away from all, oh, oh, away from all, oh, oh, hi, hi, hung away, away, away from all, oh, oh, away, each other. Navajo corn song. Thank you. And in the Southwest, corn is a very big staple, and a lot of the Native people's tribes' um, lives every single day. In our tribe, we would use it every morning to pray with corn pollen. We would use every morning and pray to the east with the corn pollen, and as well as feed our families with it. So corn was very, very important in a lot of the Southwest tribes. And right now we would like to share with you another Southwest style of dancing. And we're gonna have um, Violet come up and explain more. We're gonna share with you right now the very special dance that we actually uh, choreograph where it works all together. It's called Southwest Horsetail Dance and it represents or acknowledges the horse. Now, just like corn, corn is seen all throughout South America and gradually into the North Americas. There are many other vegetables and medicines that you'll find only in North America, <laughs> such as acetaminophen that we now find in Tylenol, chocolate in South America that came from um, South American tribes, um, tobacco that we use, one of our sacred medicines. All of these came from only North America and only after contact did we finally get the beads that we now use. And of course travel and hunting and even warfare became more apparent after the appearance of the horse. Now the horse came in the 16th century and it came by way of the Spanish. It was the Spanish that had come from both the south and the west. And as they came, they brought their gigantic horses. And of course, some of these horses escaped into the wild, and they started to breed amongst themselves, and they became the wild horses. These are the horses that the native people started to use, and it became more and more apparent in the 1800s when they started to use them. And at first, we always acknowledged our dogs. Our dogs were our horse long before the horse came. They would pull our tracks, they were our packs. They were even told that we could communicate with the dog people but the dog talked way too much that creator had to take its voice away. So that's why we have barking dogs today. But you can see that almost that communication that we still have around today, that, that tie that we have to our dogs. And of course, after the horse came, our dogs became more of our companion, more of our friend. And the horses became more of the ones that traveled. They pulled along a travois. That's what we called it up north. And a travois is basically two huge teepee poles and an X and the, the skinny part of the X is attached to the horse, and then the bottom part was just used to carry packs or even to carry small children when they became too tired, so those were our traditional strollers, our traditional packing. And of course, the horse was helped for many of the tribes to expand their horizons, to expand their community grounds to show that this belongs to us. And coming from the south and to the west, gradually the horse came to the eastern communities of. Quebec or of Rhode Island, all of the eastern nations or the eastern tribes are over there, they got the horse last. So that's why you'll see a lot of the times that their horse is not as apparent as it was apparent in the Northern Plains tribes that you'll see in more of the Hollywood movies. And of course, those Hollywood movies, none of it is, is true. I can say 99.9% .9 of it is false. And hopefully today you're getting the real story, the real history of our people, of how we kind of came together. This next dance shows that coming together as tribes, as a nation, showing how the horse came in from the south and from the west, and showing how it gradually used from the, it came from the Cree nation, and how it gradually went to the, even to the Mohawk nation. You'll see different songs, or you'll hear different songs from the Hopi nation. You'll hear a song from the Mohawk nation. You'll even hear a song that sounds familiar to the Spanish or to the Spaniards. And all of this is a modern choreography to show of that history of that trail of the horse as it moves up. It's called the Southwest Horsetail Dance. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you now, Southwest Horsetail Dance.